Hi guys, it's me Faye here at Faye Dusk and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome, it's nice to meet you. I'm Faye, uh, my magical name Faye. This is my little, little piece of YouTube. <clears throat> and I just, I make videos that make me happy. So stuff on my spiritual path, sometimes a bit on makeup, a bit on organisation, books. A little bit of everything so if you like what you see then make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss when I'm next posting so I'm back at you guys with another <clears throat> mini book haul I was in the works again last weekend with my sister and for those of you <clears throat> that aren't in the UK that don't know what the works is it's like a discounted bookstore like it's really good get some like crazy massive savings and literally every time I go in there I always hedge to like zone in straight away on the um like occult new age witchcrafty section I like oh what's new that I don't have and then <clears throat> and then that's just how it happens really so let's <clears throat> get into it I apologize now for coughing or if you hear me sounding breathing a little bit heavy I do have a cold um <coughs> So yeah, so I apologise in advance for that and I hope it's really not too annoying. But yeah, so let's get into it. So I have two books from the works and I got a gift card um, from my uncle for Christmas. So I bought a makeup, like a makeup brush thing and something else as well. But I spent, I got this from um, HomeSense. I was weird then. I had a moment where I was like, um, where did I go? But yeah, so let's start with the books first. <clears throat> this little book is the Pocket Book of Chris uh, Crystal Tips and Cures by Philip Permut. <clears throat> As you can see by the works blue label at the top, it's RRP of £9.99. I got it for £3. And I just picked it up because so I was attracted to it. I do have loads of books on crystals. I just picked it up and I was like, oh. And then I started flicking through it and I was like, oh wow. Like I love the layout, I love the pictures, I love everything about it. So let me read a bit of the synopsis on the back. Explore the world of crystals and how to work with them to benefit body, mind and spirit. Discover 101 crystals arranged by colour in 12 sections for easy identification and the healing qualities. Star sign and chakra point for each one. Learn how to choose the crystals that are right for you. Use crystals to balance your chakras and ask a question with a crystal pendulum. Tips to enhance everyday living including how to wear crystals for energy. Displays stones at home to bring bring in harmony or place one under your pillow for sweet dreams <clears throat> so let's just show you inside i just love it's like a really i hate this my camera won't stop trying to focus on the camera um it's a really lovely quality, quality glossy paper and it's like nice and thick and substantial so there's a section at the beginning on choosing crystals um, and it's about different things about placing crystals at home and at work. So about creating a special space at home. Things like, um, so I kind of like that. And then, it, <clears throat> so this, for example, creating a special space at home is number one. Begin by taking a little time to clear out any unwanted clutter from old newspapers and magazines to any unwanted broken or unloved items. This is a great opportunity to discard any junk you've been hoarding. But clean the space thoroughly, open the windows and air the room, make a list of all the aspects of your life that are important to you. For example, your love life, your friendships, your career, your creativity and so on. Select the crystals that represent these aspects and bring the benefits you want. Your focus might be <clears throat> on what you would like to change in your life. For example, you might choose Ruby if you want more passion in a relationship or um, <clears throat> spirit quartz if you want to bond more closely with colleagues at work place the crystals around the room as you see fit remember it's your space choose some relaxing music light candles and incense if you wish and sit quietly for a while in your special space then it's got a list of crystals for the space so it's got pyridot to clear emotional blockages leading to release of unhelpful energy <clears throat> situations in your life this crystal gives you the impetus to, st um, to start that big clear out of clutter quartz to bring positive energy into space amethyst to create the calm relaxing atmosphere that will encourage you to feel at home rose quartz will love to flow into your life at home citrine to encourage fun happiness and abundance and then you've got healing with crystals 
and it's got all the different crystals associated with the different chakra the different chakra points <clears throat> you've got a section on meditating with crystals which is cool uh this bit's got crystals and spirit guides crystals can help us connect to our spirit guides these may be deceased family members wise people from another time or simply energy spirits they give you they give a helping hand when needed provide comfort and supplies with answers that seem to be appear out of thin air when you first start to see spirits they often materialize a ball materializes ball blue balls of light floating near you or you may just sense their presence meditating morganite or sapphire can promote this link so it's just all really cool little tips. Um, the next part is elixir. So you see, uh, making different crystal, um, different sorry, different el elixirs with different crystals and the benefits. And then now we're on the section of crystals by color, which I absolutely love. <clears throat> so on the red section, each page has different red crystals. So you've got things like red jasper, as uh, zircon, garnet. But e each crystal has in the color section it has the star sign it's associated with the planet the element the chakra and then it has crystal tips which i thought was really awesome so you've got your red and you've got your oranges and they're right at the beginning when it tells you what color you're going to be on it's got like a little <clears throat> a little like table of contents like index so say for example i could flip the orange i know i'm looking for an orange crystal and say i'm looking for orange calcite it tells me it's on page 42 so there it is <clears throat> I just thought it's, I just really like that it's helpful and as well you may be looking for a new crystal for something and you're not too sure what and say like yellow fluorite <clears throat> it gives you a nice quick easy rundown what I dislike about some um crystal books is sometimes I find them a bit intense and something and sometimes I just want a really simple <clears throat> simple straightforward guide just to you know get me started type thing so say for example yellow fluorite the star sign of yellow uh yellow fluorite is leo the planet is sun the element is fire the chakra is sacral which is um isn't isn't that like your your um but uh, like your um like lower base of your spine there isn't it is, that, is it i'm sure it is wow i'm showing how much i know about chakras right now aren't i <laughs> I look forward to someone correcting me in the comments on that one. Uh, crystal tips. Put yellow fluorite in the centre of a group <clears throat> to create a positive dynamic. Wear or carry yellow fluorite to promote weight loss and to dispel toxins from the mind and body. Hold yellow fluorite to enhance creativity and the flow of ideas. Lie down or place yellow fluorite on your brow chakra to clear your mind of negative thoughts and worries. Place yellow fluorite in your hall to draw spiritual energy into your home. So doing it in along the bottom in the pretty font, it just gives an overview. So it's energizing yellow fluorite, stimulates the creative mind. So you're going through all the different colours, like your pinks, yellows, greens, blues, uh, like your clear ones, your browns. And that's literally the book ends <clears throat> ends on the brown crystals. I just thought it was a really handy book. It's a really good um like a uh, bedside book, coffee table book, it's a really good one to pick up when you looking for something specific and you just want to dive in find that and go <clears throat> it's not something that you need to necessarily read cover to cover unless you felt so called to at one time and the second book or the um that i've got from the works that i've had in my um amazon wish list for ages is the inner beauty bible and this rrp on this one is 14.99 i got it for five pounds and it's by laurie simmons and this one is a collection of mindful rituals to help your inner beauty flourish and again it's just so pretty inside let me read the inside jacket of you this is a one-stop handbook in nurturing beauty and well-being from inside out combining ancient wisdom with modern day mindfulness this book shows you how to polish your heart and nourish your soul with a collection of simple rituals that can be easily woven into busy lives in the inner beauty bible you will find introduction to accessible rituals into your life that <clears throat> introduce sorry accessible rituals into your life that will strengthen your connection to inner beauty create beautiful sacred spaces using crystals natural objects beautiful smells and sounds truly nurture yourself from turning your bedroom into a peaceful sanctuary to a delicious rose infused 
bath time rituals. They connected to your inner beauty in challenging times, tap into the deeper wisdom and healing na um, healing potential of nature, master simple practices to help you tune into the beauty in the everyday, perform rituals for different moments and needs to boost energy, to let go, to celebrate and to manifest abundance. So it's just, <clears throat> it's just really, I love the photos as well as like beautiful. <clears throat> So the beginning she starts with her personal story and then on the page where I showed you the um, picture of the rose petals, a, she's got a, um, um, like a little recipe for rose rose water spritzer. Um, and then she's got a very short history of beauty and ritual. Then she's got a, I love that page, how pretty is that? And then she's got a defining your own inner beauty. Um, And then she's got sacred spaces and inner beauty tools. A sacred space is a guide, as a gift to your soul, sort of like creating like an altar type space. And I absolutely love that altar space. I think that's so beautiful. <clears throat> so she's got a bit on that. Um, tools to use in your sacred space. So she's got hit crystals and like a history of crystals and how crystals heal. And then she's got a, um, a few different types of crystals, a history of them. And then she's got cleansing crystals and smudging and about smudging and cleansing tools. Uh, she's got about trees and flowers and shells and essential oils. And then she's got introduction to rituals. <clears throat> and she's uh, got morning rituals, like waking up and um, different morning morning routines. Um, she's got things like energy booster ritual, a uh, focus your mind ritual and um, abundance ritual and i just love how throughout the book it's scattered with the really pretty imagery so that's morning rituals and then evening and nighttime rituals and winding down nourishing rose quartz bath time ritual uh, inner beauty sleep ritual nighttime gratitude inner beauty on the move uh portable inner beauty so sort of like creating your own kit moving home ritual nature rituals uh mindful beauty walk ritual moon rituals which is awesome rituals for letting go what else uh celebration rituals and then i think that's the end of the book there was one more section and then sunbeam and that's why she's just sort of like thanking everyone it's just a it's just a really lovely book so i can't wait <clears throat> i really can't wait to read that one and ow i got a really bad cramp then but yeah no i really can't wait to uh read that one as well i think i'm gonna get a lot of um a lot of useful things from it and i think it would just be like a really nice uh joyous read and so the last thing in this little hole of mine that is a very extra long video, even though it's only a little haul. Is my goals gift set, which includes a six by eight guided journal, pen, notepad, and sticky pad. So that's better. You can see better there. I just love it. I don't even want to take it out of the box. It's so pretty, and I, ah, those of you who know me, love and know I love setting goals, and um, I love the really pretty watercolors. So that's the goals journal, the bulldog pet bull dog clip um there's a pen there and i love the post-it notes the today's top goals and so there's a space of three goals and then my goal is describe my goal how i'm going to reach my goal then you've got a tick list at the end of getting started almost done i've reached it i just thought it's really cool so let me just open it up as i've had it for a little while now but I haven't opened it as i didn't want to open it until i showed you guys but yeah i just I just saw it and I was just like, oh, I can't leave that. It was seven ninety nine, so it wasn't wasn't bad. And there's the bulldog clip. Let's just take that one off. Uh, oh wow, it's really pretty. Goals are dreams with deadlines, and this goal, these goals belong to in your name. Oh wow, because I haven't actually looked inside this yet. I thought it was just going to be like a plain lines journal, but it's actually really not it's amazing how well can you see that probably not very well you can probably just 
make it out. <clears throat> but so goal num there's goals numbered each page. So it's goal number one, accomplished by. So you put your date and mission complete, and like a tick box to tick. And then it put this. Sorry for that brief interruption. My memory card decided to be full, so I was like frantically deleting stuff so I could carry this on. But as I was saying about this really little cool goals book. <clears throat> So there's a goal number on each page. I know you probably can't even see this very well, so I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, yep, so this goal, so there's a goal number five. So for example, on page number five, um, you'd write what your goal is, accomplished by date, mission complete with a tick box. Uh, this goal is important because, and there's a couple of lines for you to write where your goal is important. Then challenges I may face, and there's a couple of lines to write that. And then steps to accomplish my goal, and there's uh, three, um, three different sections with a few lines for each and then at the bottom there's a box for you to write your reward if you complete the goal and it just goes all through, through the book i think it's, it's a hundred as a, as a uh, yeah hundred goal pages all together goal making pages and there's a couple of pages of notes at the back and then you just got your two lots of if i can get it out then you got your post-its and then you have lots of post-it notes, so you can probably stick stuff in there. And I just really like it, because I just thought, I just love, um, I don't know, I just find it really, really positive, like setting, setting goals. And this year I have so many goals that I want to achieve, that I am actually working towards at the moment. Um, but I haven't really spoken too much on here on my channel or um anywhere else social media wise or even in person like my friends and family too much about what my goals are this year as i feel sometimes i have i sort of speak about what i want to accomplish so much that sometimes i don't know i just feel like it takes away from it a little bit and sometimes i get a bit complacent but i know it's good to voice what you want to do to like your family and friends and people important to you just to sort of give you like accountability but sometimes i find that you've got a fine fine line you've got to find uh the best balance so yeah so i feel this time i'm taking the approach of just sort of knuckling down and getting on with it and just getting my hustle on and seeing where it takes me so i hope you enjoyed this video and i would uh, love to um, follow some of you guys if you have YouTube channels or if you and if you've done like any sort of like book hauls and makeup hauls and anything like that I would uh, love to know so comment below and I will see you very soon in my next video blessed be